Hi, everyone. Yeah, it's a huge game for us again. You know, the first one against Australia was a fantastic experience for our team, for our players, which I hope will serve us in the future for bigger things. Now it's uh, another difficult game for us. As you all know, Uzbekistan is very good competitive side. Their recent results are proving what kind of a strength they have. They didn't gain the victory in the opening game of the tournament, which is putting them under pressure. So we can expect, I think, some pressure from the inside from the very first minute. We need to find a way how to handle that. But our boys are excited happy for another chance here and another challenge, another opportunity which is ahead of us and excited about the game. Thank you very much. Aminda. Of course, uh, it's a big game for uh, India tomorrow and uh, uh, players are ready and they recover better. And now we are looking for the uh, tomorrow's game, and everyone tried to read what they did in against uh, Syria. And uh, I think players are ready, and we know how important is uh, tomorrow's game. Thank you. I will open the floor to your questions, and while I do so, um, Thank you very much, photographers. The photo shooting time is finished. OK, and I will take the first question with the gentleman here. Uh, hi, coach. Uh, my name is Siraj. I am coming from Kerala, India. And, uh, coach, the match against Australia, the Indian defense played very well. But the performance of midfield was too weak, even to make a good move. So how you improve and how you plan to be improved the play of midfield in the crucial match against Uzbekistan? Uzbekistan is a team which is very well technically equipped. You know, they have players playing in best tires in Europe, in Russia, in France, in Greece. Uh, the players with the, with the experience, but also with the youth and the energy. So we need to be well aware about how compact we need to be, how uh, vocal we need to be, supportive to each other, and uh, with a clear idea how to reach the final third when the chance arises and be effective there. What is his own precaution? Hello? This is Om Prakash Mundra from Van News Agency. Can you speak? Uh, just actually we wanted to know, because the Australian made so many discussions going on, media and others, everything. But I know India played very well that day, no doubt about that. But the only concern we now have, should we go more defensive, then we should go for forward more. Because in the second half of the Australian match, we really found that we were not able to go after the uh, center line because there was no players to give the pass. And second question I wanted to know about this injuries, what the our players had now, whether anyone is coming up, Saddam and other things also for the next match or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, first about injuries, yes, Sahal is still not ready. That's one, and uh, we do have a couple of players with certain problems out of Australia game. So changes will be there. I will not name the, the players who are with the problems, obviously, but changes are coming. About how to improve, while we are at this stage and level of our football, we can play only as much as the opponent like Australia allow us to play. That's difference in quality, you see. Australian players, they all play in English divisions, they play in Italy, they play in Scotland. They have waste of experience from the World Cup appearances, from big tournaments and the big games. And so when such kind of players coming from that level 
are there against you, you can play only as much as they allow you. You know, and I think against Australia, we were using the brain in a really good way. We were very unlucky to concede uh, silly goals because the overall impression was that we stopped Australia from their using their biggest strength, and that was having impact on good crosses coming into the box from the flanks and attacking that box with a great number of players. You know, we were really good there. But then one sloppy reaction, then the second one kills the game. And that's about experience. That's about being effective when the chance arises, you know. We had probably the best scoring chance in the first half. We didn't use it. If there was a goal, who knows what could happen then, you know. Your confidence rises up, the opponent's frustration becomes higher, and things are going different way, you see. So football is a beautiful game. It, it gives opportunities, never mind the differences between amongst the teams who are on the pitch. But all you need to understand is when there is a huge difference in the quality between the teams, definitely your team will not get too many chances to go to the opponent third with the quality and to threaten their box. Uh, hi, Coach. Uh, good morning. So, Coach, how this game against Uzbekistan will be different from Australia? You know, because <coughs> Uzbekistan is also a very physical team. Uh, Australia, you know, they're traditionally known as a physical uh, team in Asia. And also, in terms of, you know, we have seen players like uh, Ishan Pandita, who is with the squad, but Sometimes he's not named in the bench. Is he carrying any injury? Listen, Ishan Pandita is one of the boys we believe can be there for us when uh, Sunil is not there or when Sunil is injured. And he's the only Indian player who is, if he plays regularly, plays exactly at the center forward position. He's the only one, you know. And we need to believe that his time will come. We need to provide opportunities for him to be with the team, to learn certain things while he is waiting his chance, and to be patient. You know that he had the injury which kept him out of the pitch since May, when we started our camp last year. And since then, he barely had a few minutes on the pitch. So it's not, it's not I think, uh, good to expect to see him starting the game without any any games played prior to such a big tournament but as option coming from the bench yes it might happen definitely you know because he is kind of a player who smells the opportunity who is using his half a chance to score the goal and that could help us in such a game like like uzbekistan <clears throat> in regards to the game what what we were looking for is uh, more attacking minded players, you know, because we also had against Australia many situations after analyzing the game where we could, instead of just kicking ball forward, we could find a free player in front of us on the flanks. I was not happy because there was no intention to do that in the second half. In the first half, yes, there was a clear intention how to go forward and all that, but when the pressure starts coming at you and coming back and again and again and again, then energy loss doesn't bring air into the brain anymore. So it's difficult. Coach Nilabri from the Hindu Sports Club. <coughs> In the Australia game, uh, there were chances where India attacked but failed to finish clinically. Is the team working particularly on uh, in improving its accuracy in, uh, during attacks? We work on <clears throat> finishing every day when we are together, you know. But we can count how many days we spent with these players throughout the year, how many games they play at the attacking position in the league, how many goals they score in the league, how many chances they get throughout the games in the league, which is far below the level needed, which we want them to be. So uh, football is all about hard work, practice, uh, and repeating things during the practice. That's how you get better in any job, not only in football, you know. So our boys need to have hunger to, to compete more, to improve more on a daily basis. Without that, we're not going to go anywhere. <clears throat> uh, 
Peter, Peter Stebbings from the news agency <coughs> AFP. Um, th there were more than 30,000 fans at the game against Australia. Seems like most of them were, were Indian. I, I'm just wondering, as a, as a coach and as a player, how important is that level of support to you? Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I will try to bring it very close to you. Recently, when we played in, in Kuwait at the opening game of the World Cup qualifiers, there was a huge crowd, huge Indian crowd in away game. That was the key point why we won that game. More than, more than our performance or our self-belief of anything like that. They were the key point why that game we won. You know, they pushed us throughout 100 minutes against very difficult opponent, which was there expecting to defeat us to open the qualifier as well. And I would say that was a perfect game, not allowing them uh, one single shot on goal, not letting any chance for them to have and controlling the game from the very first whistle until the very last one. So that's how important they can be. And I appreciate such a huge, massive support. We expected we're going to have it here because we are all in touch with our fan base here. We know how passionate they are about football, most of them coming from Kerala. We know how passionate uh, football fan base is in Kerala. And we expect them in even huge number, bigger number now in this game against Uzbekistan. It's a much better kickoff time, much more convenient for them to attend the game and they might be the crucial point for us in this game. And once again, a huge, huge thanks to all of them who attended the game. Of course, it is important when whenever we play, the fans are there, mostly in Asia, whenever we play, the Munjapada fans and Indian football team's fans, they're there, and that's why we are, I think, performing um, better and better, and we never feel we are playing away from the home. And uh, in last game also, we had so many fans, and I'm ac accepting that key, uh, in next game, which we are playing 5.30, will be more crowd and more support for us. Of course, it's helped the players. Uh, Aziz Abu Hamar from State Doha. My, qu my question to the coach. Uh, coach, how did you find the ambience so far, the atmosphere, the facilities? I can't hear you well, I'm sorry. Speak louder. How could you see uh, the ambience so far, the facilities, the atmosphere, the organization? How did you feel it? Did you uh, have any issue, you, your team, anything here in, uh, in your stay so far in, uh, in Doha? And uh, the, for the tomorrow's match against Uzbekistan, to which extent you have uh, uh, an ambition, let's say, to uh, do much more than you did in Australia, especially the Indian national team really did a very good job in, uh, in the first half. Thank you. In, against Australia, I mean. Thank you very much. I mean, what to say about facilities and everything we, we enjoy here, I think it's, it's the world class. World class, you know. I would love all the tournaments and competitions which are happening in Asia to be either here or in China, as far as I'm concerned, about organization, about infrastructure, about facilities. Uh, it's, it was very, very, uh, uh, we had a similar experience also when we were at the Asian Games, you know, in Ganju. But this here, this is as good as it can be, you know, it can't be better. Everything from, from the personal, from the human capital to the infrastructure which is visible, which you can see, it's, it's really amazing. Okay. <coughs> uh, in fact, from AFC, question for Aminda. Um, you being here uh, means there's a chance that you might start tomorrow's game. You weren't in the, you didn't play in the first game. Um, how ready are you to, to, to be called up, uh, to be used in the starting lineup? And how do you see your competition with, with group it for a place, you know, as in, in the first team? Uh, of course, uh, me and Gurpreet play sometime and uh, whenever I get my chance, I try to give my best and uh, 
It's most important we, uh, me and Gurpri, stick together and uh, keep helping each other and uh, keep improving. And it's, I think it's better for uh, our nation to, if we push each other, and uh, it's always better for our nation to, we can do well in that. Any more questions? Uh, coach. Hi, Coach. Uh, you went with, you know, uh, uh, three midfielders who typically play six or eight, you know, and uh, because of course Sahel is injured. So, but you had somebody like Brendan in the bench, uh, you know, and Thapa also can kind of play in those offensive position. Do you think we have to do this now for the remaining two games, you know, bring your more you know, offensive player in the midfield to so that, because there's a lack of progression of the uh, ball from our team, you know. Majority of the passes were between the goalkeepers and the defenders. Top five passing change, if you see. So do you think now we need to bring somebody who can support Apuya in those build-up areas? Yes, that's a, definitely the way we are thinking of. Uh, hi, Coach. Uh, which strategy was the part of the dismissal of Anirudh Dhapa in the first game against Australia? Uh, so, uh, the inclusion of Deepak Tangri, uh, do you think uh, that was a success? When you mention certain players, then you need to look back and see where they stand before joining the camp, what positions they play in their clubs, what is their effectiveness, but also what is the level of the football they play where they are. You know, so when it comes to that football intensity and this football intensity here, then you need to raise the question how good they can be at this level, how much they can help the team and how effective they can be in the things where they are weak. And we know where is the weakness point of the players who are there we have in the team with the more technical ability. So. Hopefully now we can combine certain things and the players you mentioned use in a certain part of the games and combine with them to help the team in certain areas which were missing in the second half against Australia. But we'll see, you will get the clear answer what is their ability, what is their capacity at this level. Hi coach, this is Rahul from Rev Sports. I hope you have watched the Uzbekistan versus Syria game. Uh, watching that game, do you expect that your boys can be far better in the off-front than the Australia game? Can you repeat that last part? I was not... Yeah, I mean, uh, it was not that Uzbekistan dominated Syria in that game. Syria also created many chances. So do you expect that in this game our boys can be far better than the Australia game in the off-front? Listen, uh, as far as I'm concerned, Uzbekistan absolutely dominated the game with 65% of possession, with 16, 17 shots on goal, you know, with the, with the clear chances. But Syria is also physical side. They played in a strong 4 for 2 formation with the tight lines and using every opportunity to counter-attack because they have physical players who are good in aerial battles up front and who are combining well and holding the ball well. That was one part which was missing in our game in the second half against Australia. So, but this will be a different game, you know. Looking from the side of the strength, physical strength, we need to be well, well aware that we need to escape from contact game, which is really allowed here. It's not sanctioned with the free kicks. It's obvious from the very first game here at the tournament that the referees are letting uh, free play to go, tackles to fly. Uh, there is no many bookings, uh, many, many situations where there is a normally foul. They are not giving it. They let the game go. So we need to escape from such situation. Our pass needs to be quicker. Our move needs to be clearer and, and quicker also. So if we go into duels and tackles, we're not going to be well after that. Coach, uh, you talk. Hello. Yeah. Coach, you talked about uh, Sreko Katanek's um, effect on a team. Coach, uh, you talked about Sreko Katanek's uh, effect on a team. Do you think uh, his association, given his history with Slovenia, do you think his effect on Uzbekistan will be something that your prior experience 
of reading him will be an uh, a factor uh, in the Uzbekistan game. Uh, it's really difficult. You need to be yeah. a bit clearer. Put the, put the question, just the question. Coach, you talked about the Uzbekistan coach who you have known really well previously. Srechko, yes. Yeah, Srechko. So, uh, knowing him previously, will that be a factor for India, in favor of India against Uzbekistan tomorrow? No, I mean, we are, we are good old colleagues. We know each other. We know how he knows how I think. I know how he thinks. He could see our first game. He knows what we have on the bench. Same thing with me. I could clearly see their first game, their approach. It will not change. It can only be with more pressure and more effectiveness. Intention to be with more pressure and effectiveness against us. So what I need to do, I need to find a way to escape from dangerous situations and to cover the areas where they have the, the most strength in their team. Okay, I will take this last question in the back. Yes. Question to coach. Uh, what's the mindset you're going to go in with tomorrow? Will, it, will you take a point or are you going to go all attack? Mindset is winning. Mindset is something which we've been working on uh, every day from the very first day of our work. And it's always winning mindset. And it's all open, you know. We could clearly see in the yesterday game which Oman played against Saudi Arabia, how exciting was game, how close was Oman in creating a great momentum just a few minutes away from, from a fantastic victory. At the end, they finished with nothing in their hands. So our boys are ready. That's what I can tell you. Excited about the game, and I hope they will enjoy it as much as possible with much more opportunities in regards to the first game we had.